Hey everyone, it's Mallory here with All About Cats. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top five best automatic cat feeders you can buy. So in order to choose the feeders for this review, we did quite a bit of research. I spent hours learning about the different types of automatic cat feeders that are available, learning about the different products that are on the market, and reading hundreds of customer reviews. And then after narrowing down the selection, uh, we decided to purchase these five feeders and then get some hands-on experience. So over the course of the last month, I've been testing these feeders out. So I set each of them up and took notes on how easy it was to get started and program each of the feeders. And then I used them with my two cats, Wessie and Forrest. So I got some input from them and took some time to really experience uh, what it was like to use these feeders in my home. So keep watching until the very end to get all the details on exactly what I thought of each of these feeders and who I think is going to get the most out of each of them. So our very first recommendation is the Catmate C500 dish style programmable feeder. So this is a type of cat feeder that involves a rotating dish. So this dish has five different compartments, all of which will contain a serving of food. You're going to have to measure it out yourself. And then it's going to, according to a schedule you've chosen, rotate automatically in order to expose the food to your cat. What I like about this feeder and this style of feeders in general is that it allows you to give your cat any type of food you want. So you can use it with treats, you can use it with wet food, dry food, and you can even put medications in there. So it really opens up your options in terms of which types of food you can give your cat. And that's really valuable considering that dry food really is not the best choice for cats, right? And one big benefit of choosing the Catmate C500 in particular is that it has ice packs built into it. So not only are you able to use it with wet food, you're able to keep that wet food fresh for up to two days, depending on the conditions. So that's a really cool feature that sets it apart from uh, the vast majority of automatic feeders. So what did the experience of using the Catmate C500 look like for me? I found that the feeder was pretty easy and straightforward to set up. You're going to use this little display and buttons to set up your feeding schedule. You have an infinite number of options. Once you set the clock, you're just going to start entering in times. So you can feed your cat up to four times a day or up to once a day for four days. Um, so you have four time slots to program. And once you've done that, the Catmate feeder is ready to go. Once the feeder was set up, everything went pretty smoothly. I liked that the feeder displayed um, the feed times on the LCD screen and that you could actually see it when it was running so you could kind of have an idea of what was going to happen throughout the day. Now, I found that my cat seemed a little bit uncomfortable eating from this feeder initially. Um, it was kind of something that they had to become accustomed to. I also noticed that the bowls were maybe a little bit too deep for my cat's comfort. So these are 11 and a half ounce uh, dishes. And I think they were just a little bit too deep and then it was a little bit difficult for my cats to fit their heads in there. All that being said, everything went perfectly smoothly. Um, my cats ate from it, it rotated, it served their meals, it kept their meals cool. So overall, I would recommend this feeder for those who want to have maximum control over their cat's diet. While so many other automatic feeders limit you to kibble, this feeder really opens things up so you can give your cat anything that you want. Because this type of feeder only has those five compartments, one of which is restricted to immediate feed only, you're going to have to refill pretty often. So it's not something that you can just fill up and then forget about for a month or something like that. Um, you are going to have to remain engaged and portion out your cat's food yourself. Um, so it's, it's not necessarily the most um, hands-off or convenient option. At $49.95, um, this feeder is moderately priced. Our runner-up is another programmable dish style feeder, which is the PetSafe Eat Well 5 Meal Feeder. The feeder was pretty easy to set up, so it uses four D batteries. You'll put them in and then you'll start programming. So it is going to take a little bit of patience. You're going to have to read the manual to figure out which buttons to press, which combinations of buttons to press in order to program the feeder. Um, but as long as you're paying attention and kind of taking your time with it, it's pretty straightforward. 
The feeder is programmable with up to four feeding times, um, and then the fifth compartment is for immediate feed only, um, just like our top recommendation. And once you've set up your feeding schedule, you can put the food into the five different compartments and you're ready to go. One of the things that I found a little bit frustrating about this feeder was that once you've closed everything down and clamped the lid down, uh, making it impossible for your cat to access the food, it also becomes kind of difficult to monitor your feeding schedule. So unlike our top recommendation, the Catmate C500, you're not able to look at your feeding schedule on a display um, unless you open everything up and then view it on the inside. So that's a little bit of a frustration. Now, I found that uh, the feeder worked really smoothly. It did everything that it was supposed to. I found that it was a little bit on the noisy side, so it kind of whirs and clinks as it operates, and it's a little bit noisy. Um, but I found that my cats seemed pretty comfortable using it. So this feeder has a slightly lower capacity than the Catmate C500, so it has five eight ounce compartments instead of 11 and a half ounce compartments. One benefit of that though, is that the compartments are really easy for your cat to access and they're not quite so deep. Um, and I found that my cat seemed a little bit more comfortable eating from these bowls. Overall, this feeder is a really good option if you want maximum flexibility in terms of what you can feed your cat, you want a really secure feeder that your cats can't break into, and you don't mind having to measure out your cat's food on your own. It's also a relatively budget-friendly option, so currently um, it costs just over $38 on Chewy. Our first two recommendations really emphasized the flexibility factor, um, so they allow you to feed your cat any type of food you want. Um, but our next recommendation is only going to be a good choice if your cat eats exclusively um, or primarily dry cat food. It's a pet safe, healthy pet, simply feed, automatic, programmable pet feeder. So this is an upright feeder and it probably looks like what you would imagine when you think about an automatic feeder. So it has a 24 cup hopper, contains a ton of dry food, and then dispenses it into this metal bowl. I found that setting up the Simply Feed was really straightforward. Uh, you do have to kind of figure out how all of the buttons work. It's a bit like setting up a digital watch. You'll have to pay attention and press the right buttons, but overall it's pretty straightforward. Once it's set up, I found that the Simply Feed did pretty much everything that you would want this type of automatic feeder to do. So you're able to program up to 12 different feeding times each day. You'll just use the clock and figure out which times you want. You can also use a slow feed option, which gradually dispenses food over the course of 15 minutes. That can be a good option if your cat tends to gulp down their food. So you really have a lot of options here in terms of scheduling. You also have a lot of flexibility in terms of portion sizes. So each meal can have a different portion size assigned to it and you can choose uh, portions ranging from one eighth of a cup all the way up to four cups at a time. Now, my cats don't usually eat dry food, but I did let them uh, go for it a bit in order to test this particular feeder. Their first reaction to this feeder was with some apprehension. I think they were kind of scared of it, and they kind of continued to be a little bit nervous around it for a while. I think that this feeder, out of all the feeders I tried here, was the most intimidating for my cats. I think that it was a combination of the feeder's size and the fact that it's a bit loud. So um, every time that it dispenses a portion, there's kind of a whirring noise. It also is pretty loud when the kibble hits that metal bowl. Speaking of the bowl, I found that the bowl on this feeder was kind of large. Um, it seemed a bit too large for cats, frankly. It's also worth noting that the PetSafe Simply Feed is not necessarily the most secure automatic feeder. Um, I've read some reviews from people saying that their cats were able to kind of reach up in there and fish out kibble for themselves. So if your cat is really greedy and has a tendency to try to get food on their own, this might not be the best choice for them. Overall, if you feed your cats dry food and you want a flexible, functional automatic feeder um, that has a good reputation and seems to perform quite reliably, I would recommend the PetSafe Simply Feed. The PetSafe uh, Simply Feed currently costs $99.95. So our next recommendation is a pretty fun one. It's the only smart automatic cat feeder on this list. So it's called the Woe Pet Smart Feeder. So basically this feeder is pretty similar to the PetSafe Simply Feed. It's an upright feeder that only works with dry food. You program it, decide what portion sizes you want in each meal, and then it'll automatically uh, dispense food at the times of your choosing. But what makes it really cool is all of the other features that are built into it. 
So it doubles as a pet cam. It allows you to record custom voice messages that are going to go out every time uh, that the food is dispensed. Um, and it allows you to monitor your cat's feedings from your smartphone. So of all the feeders I tested out for this review, I found that the Wopet Smart Feeder was definitely the most challenging to set up. So the instructions are not written in the best English and they're definitely confusing. Um, I had to try quite a few different approaches, look at the manual a few different times, try to interpret what it was trying to express. Um, it took quite a while to get the automatic feeder set up and connected to my home's Wi-Fi and uh, connected to the Wopet app on my phone. But after some struggling, uh, I finally had it connected and I was ready to get everything set up. So once you finally have it connected to the Wopet app, which is compatible with both iOS and Android devices, um, you can get started programming everything and it should be pretty easy from there. I found that programming the feeder using the Wopet app was significantly easier than programming any of these other feeders using their little um, buttons and LCD screens. So you can choose your feeding times, choose uh, what portion size you want to dispense at every feeding, trigger manual feedings from the app. Um, everything is just very streamlined and easy. It was overall just a really smooth experience once I had gotten the app set up. When it comes time for feeding, I found that everything worked really smoothly and quietly. Though I did notice that because the um, feeding tray is so shallow, a lot of the kibble tended to kind of bounce off onto the ground. Um, but I did like that it was shallow enough to be comfortable for my cats, so it's kind of a mixed bag there. So this feeder has a wide angle camera with up to 1080p resolution. So it's a pretty uh, high definition camera and I found that everything worked quite well. From the app, you can take pictures or videos, you can listen in, or you could uh, talk to your cat through the speaker. You can't do both at once. So even though um, this is advertised as sort of two-way communication between you and your cat, it doesn't really work that way. You can listen to your cat or you can talk to your cat. You can't do both at once. Overall, this is a really fun automatic feeder. If you don't mind a little bit of challenging setup, um, I think it's well worth all of the novelty and entertainment that it can bring. Um, and it's also just a solid option, especially if you spend a lot of time away from home and feed your cat dry food. This is a good way to both keep tabs on your cat and keep them fed while you're away. So this smart feeder costs um, $169.99 currently. So our next and final recommendation is a bit different from the rest. It is a microchip feeder. So it's called the SureFeed Microchip Automatic Cat Feeder. And it's intended to ensure that cats get the food they need. So the feeder has this plastic cover that sits over the tray of food and that cover only opens when an authorized cat um, moves into the space. So you can program the feeder to recognize either your cat's microchip or an RFID tag. Um, so the feeder comes with an RFID tag for cats who aren't microchipped. And you can program up to 32 cats into the system. So this feeder was extremely easy to set up. It came with a really nice user manual with plenty of details on training and setup and programming. It has three buttons on the back which allow you to adjust the settings, program a cat, or open up the um, feeder manually. Once you have the batteries into the feeder and you're ready to go, you're going to have to program it um, to recognize your cat, which is pretty easy. You're either going to have your cat walk into the feeder um, if you're using the microchip method, or you can just swipe the RFID tag uh, underneath the hoop. So I wanted to set up this feeder for Forrest, who's kind of skittish and sometimes Wessie will take her food, and I thought that it might be useful for her. So I gave her the tag, um, and I also tried to set it up by having her go into the feeder just to see how that would work. Um, it took a few tries to get her to even enter the feeder. Again, she's a little bit skittish and doesn't really want to cooperate with a lot of things, um, but eventually she did. It picked her right up, and then the feeder had been programmed. So unfortunately, I started using this feeder towards the end of my testing period and never really got to a point where Forrest was using it consistently. But she did seem comfortable with the feeder during the trial period. I let it open and close in front of her and she seemed comfortable using it. But she was also eating some of Wessie's food, so maybe my original idea that she needed a designated bowl 
um, wasn't exactly accurate. Uh, both of them are kind of eating from each other's bowls. That being said, it definitely did its job of keeping Wessie out of the bowl. So he showed some curiosity at certain times. He was kind of standing on it um, and he wasn't able to get in. Of course, more determined cats will probably be able to get in. Um, I've read about some cats who are able to get in from the back and the sides, but in my experience, it did its job quite well and kept the food reserved to the designated cat. Overall, this feeder is a really great option for cats who are on special diets or who are kind of shy and living with food thieves. Um, it can really help to ensure that each cat gets the food that they need. I was really impressed by its easy setup, its smooth operation, and it's really pretty design. It looks very nice. This automatic feeder costs $149.99. All right, so we've made it through our reviews of the top five best automatic cat feeders. So I hope that this video gave you a better understanding of what automatic cat feeders can do and what you might be looking for in an automatic cat feeder for your household. If you're interested in checking out any of the products mentioned here, um, please go to the description. There are links to all of the products in this review. If you did find it helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And if you would like more buyer's guides and product reviews like this, please go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll get the news every time we release a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.